Hey everyone, wanted to do a, uh, it'll probably be a multi-part series here on um, matrix multiplication. Um, specifically, we'll lead into uh, eventually doing the full Triton uh, tiled matrix multiplication. Um, today, for starters, I just wanted to cover the fundamentals of matrix multiplication, um, <clears throat> arithmetic intensity, and then uh, let's code up in PyTorch a tiled matrix multiplication. So I think that'll do it for this video, and then we'll build on uh, that from there with a couple additional videos, and then ultimately get into the full tiled matrix multiplication in Triton. So to start, matrix, matrix, multiplication, background on that. So gems, uh, otherwise broken down into general matrix multiplication, but they're commonly called gems, are the primary building block computation for AI. Obviously, you've got nonlinear activations, but the arithmetic intensity of that is not as high as the matrix multiplies. So the formula for a gem is given by C, or the output matrix, equals alpha AB plus beta C. So what are these components on the right-hand side? <clears throat> so A and B are input matrices. C is our output matrix over here. This is C, and that's uh, overwritten as we compute the output. Uh, and then alpha and beta here are scalar inputs. So um, in a linear there, A would be your weight matrix, and B would be your input activations. Um, you're typically, what you're normally seeing is just a plain matrix product, and so that's where alpha would be 1 and beta would be 0, so eliminating this C on the right-hand side. Uh, if C uh, <clears throat> is present, so meaning beta is not 0, then C would over here would be a skip connection. So memory and math constraints within matrix multiplication. So typical format that they leverage uh, for talking about the components for matrix multiplication is um, M, K, and N. So A here would be uh, M, K dimensions, and B would be N by K dimension. Uh, and so we would compute that uh, C as MK matrix multiplied with KN. So B here would be transposed, so hence we get the inner join on the Ks. Um, and then the output, of course, would be C equals MN dimension, so the outer dimensions of this matrix multiply. So um, every element uh, in the C output matrix is a K element vector dot product of A and B. Um, so as a result, we require N by N by K, so N cube type of uh, algorithm, uh, total fused multiply as, so FMAs. Uh, to compute C. And so an FMA is really composed of two operations, one multiply and one add. So to evaluate or compute that we're going to do for matrix multiply, we would have the formula 2 by M by N by K. And that gets us into arithmetic intensity, uh, also known as compute intensity. <laughs> so compute intensity is equal to ops or flops, depending, but ops, uh, over number of bytes accessed from global memory, so GMAM or HPM. Uh, on a GPU. So if we want to determine um, if we are compute or memory bound for performance analysis, uh, we can do that based on the intensity uh, versus the GPU ops or bytes or compute intensity of the GPU uh, supported intensity. So uh, to compute arithmetic intensity, we have two aspects. The numerator is going to be what we did on the previous slide. So that's the elements computed for matrix multiply. That's given by again 2 by n by n by k. And it gets divided by the number of bytes that you're accessing. So 2 by mn, so this is our output matrix C, which we're going to write to, and our m by k, which we have to read, and our k by n, so a and b matrix. So C n by n writes plus a, oops, move me, uh, a by m by k reads plus b k by n reads. Uh, the 2 here, which is, uh, I had a question about this, um, but the 2 is that you're assuming BF16 or FA16, so that's 2 bytes. So again, it's specifically the upper numerator is elements, and the bottom is number of bytes. So that's where the second two comes from. Of course, they fall away, and you end up with M and K over uh, M by N plus M by K plus K by N. So <laughs> you can determine if your matrix multiply is going to be either um, memory access bound or compute bound uh, based on the arithmetic intensity of what you're computing, uh, and then comparing that to um, how that compares with the GPU ops per bytes that are supported. So uh, I think we'll, this is actually probably a good topic for its own video, so maybe we'll do that in a future upcoming video. But that should give you sort of a high level of view of uh, what's going on there. Um, so back to our tiled matrix multiplication. So what we have here is our A matrix here on the left-hand side, so M by K. And we have our transpose B matrix, so K by N. And then we're going to compute using tiles. Um, so that is represented here with the M by K tile here off of the A matrix. And the B, we have a K by N tile. Uh, these FMA basically uh, will into um, this block M by block N and the output, this is our C output matrix here. So that gives you a quick visual and I think it'll get clear uh, when we code this up. So let's jump over to Colab and code up a tiled matrix multiplication in PyTorch. 
All right, so we're in Colab, so let's get underway with coding up uh, tiled map mole in PyTorch. So I just laid out some basic starting parameters here. So we have m dimension of 27, n dimension of 24, k will equal to 12. And these are very arbitrarily chosen, but they do have one important distinction, which is for simplification here, we want m and k to be visible, divisible by three because we want to have even tiling. So let's get this underway here. Should that work? And let's give us couple, uh, oops. Okay, so we're there. So what we need to first do is let's set up, um, first of all, we want an output matrix and that's going to equal, start with zeros and our final dimensions will be n by n. So this is the C matrix that we talked about in the first part of the video. So we have our blank uh, output matrix and we need to set up our blocks. So our block M is going to be M into division three. Block N is going to be N into integer division three. And our block K is the same thing, K divided by three. And let's just uh, print those in reverse. Block M, so this will set us up for our loop. Um, so our K is going to be block size four. So we need to set up uh, it's a triple loop. So let's get underway. We have our output matrix ready to go. Um, so let's start with M for the outer loop. So start M in range zero. We're gonna go all the way to the end, end M. And we are stepping by block size M to get blocks of that. And we need our start and stop. So we have a stop M and this is gonna equal start M plus block M size. So that gives us our chunk of M. We're gonna start with on that. And then we need to move into the N dimension. So start N in range zero N block N. There we go, same thing. We need to stop in. So this is also start N plus block size of N. So that gives us our step on the N dimension. Uh, and now we need to set up our accumulator. So this is gonna be dot zeros and this will be size block m by block n so we're going to repeatedly um, accumulate here literally uh, the multiplies and we'll add each of those together as we proceed into the k dimension here so we need to start k in range uh, zero k step by block size k and we need to stop k And that will equal wherever we're at in the index of k. So current k plus, of course, block size k. Okay, so I think this gives us, so now we're in the innermost aspect here and we're gonna repeatedly load up uh, our tiles. And it'd be nice if this would go away. Yeah, so um, our tile a is gonna equal, um, gonna read from a. So this is our first read from global memory, effectively. Um, start. M stop M and then we have our K dimension so start K stop K and then for tile B because it's we're gonna mimic transposing it by doing the K dimension first so start K through stop K and then start in stop and so that's that. So both of these would effectively be reads. Actually, we'll come back, I think, in a minute and instrument this up a little bit just to compare our reads and writes. So that gives tile A, tile B, and we need our um, accumulator to plus equal to tile A matrix of by tile B. So this gives us our inner accumulation and then once we complete the entire k range we have an actual thing we want to write to output at that point um, and so this is going to be output uh, so start in stop in I start in stop in and we're going to write our accumulating results. 
at which point at which point we'll then repeat any of the loop so once we fall out of this loop we should have our full results here um, so let's do a basic test here torch dot all close and we want to compare output which is what we computed with our tiled uh, implementation here and let's just do generic torch matrix multiply and see if those met ah true okay great so that gives us that um, so that is tiled matrix multiplication there and we can see that we produce the same thing with tiling as we would have gotten just from the native PyTorch. Um, what I did want to add really quickly is let's just take a look. So tile A and tile B, we can add <clears throat> kind of an instrumentation here. So total B0 total right equals 0 <clears throat> and from there uh, we can say total, actually let's put it here, total reads plus SQL tile B dot elements and total element, oops, A dot ML. <clears throat> and then this would be our writing, so effectively we would be writing back to global memory, so total plus equal to put dot um, elements. So if we rerun this, total reads, and then total writes. So uh, the reason to tie that in just as generic as we showed in the previous um, <clears throat> slides, how we were talking about that your arithmetic intensity is basically determined by your compute, which we already know is 2m and k, so 2 times these dimensions, and then our um, <clears throat> total bytes axis, so 2 times total reads plus total writes, and the writes, of course, is our C matrix, and our reads is the A and B. So that gives you some tie into the arithmetic intensity. So I think that will conclude this video here. Um, hopefully this gives you a good overview of basic tile matrix multiplication, and then I think is the next step. Um, let's come back to the next video. And then uh, let's walk through, well, actually, we need to cover groups as well. So anyway, we'll get into Triton more specifically in the next video, but hopefully this lays the foundation for you to have a very thorough and complete understanding of uh, tiled matrix multiplication. So I'll see you in the next one.